1983, the war broke out. This is a love story. They was attack our villages and we ran away there. Though war has defined so much of John Dang's life, he's known as one of the lost boys of Sudan. We walk on bad food, we got no clothes, working naked, and we, we was literally like 10 years, nine years, we was babies. One of thousands of children, refugees, who started walking across East Africa alone when Islamist forces from the north attacked Christian villages in southern Sudan in 1983. Refugees who ended up barely surviving in camps in Kenya. Like somebody sleep behind you, and tomorrow when you wake up, he can't wake up. He gone. He died. That really break my heart. John's heart broke again in 2001 when he came to the United States because he left behind his true love, a woman he met at the Kenyan refugee camp where he lived for nine years. I went to her and I said, Mary, I don't know what is in the front of me. And I will love you behind and I will never, never forget about you. John will keep his promise tomorrow, this bouquet of red roses in hand. Right now, Mary is on a plane bound to Tampa International Airport. Family, we're going to make a family with her. That is what I, in my heart. The couple was married in Kenya in 2014 after 10 years apart. John is a U.S. citizen, and soon they'll start a new life together. And I say, Mary, I love you in the whole of my heart and welcome to America, the land of freedom. I told you, this is a love story. The happy ending just delayed. In Newport Ritchie, Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.